Millard Fillmore, 13th President of the United States, 1800 to 1874, 1850 to 1853. Millard Fillmore was the 13th President of the United States, the last to be a member of the Whig Party while in the White House. So, yep, he was the last person in the Whig Party to be in the White House because the Whigs were unlucky because W. Harrison and Zachary Taylor, they both died in office as Whigs. And the two other Whigs, John Tyler and him, took office, which is unlucky. So, we will go off to his timeline. So yeah, at the very, very beginning of the century, Filmer was born in Lockett County in New York. And then, when he was 23, he starts a law practice. Then, when he was 26, he married Abigail Powers. Then, when he was 32, he was elected to the U.S. Congress. Then, in 1848, he is elected vice president under Zachary Taylor. Yeah, he was 49 when he became vice president. Then in 1850, he, Fillmore just took office after Taylor dies. Yeah, he was 50, which is the meaning half, half, half of a centurion old. Yeah, because he was 50, he was halfway to 100. Then in 18... In 52, he appoints Matthew Perry to head an ex expedition to Japan and fails to win a second term. Then the next year, after just 26 days later, after Fillmore ended his presidency, his wife died. He was 53 at that time. Abigail was two years older than him because not all men in marriages are older than one man. Sometimes women are older than men in the marriage, like Washington was younger than Martha. Then in 1856, he lost the election for president as a member of the Know Nothing Party. He was 56. Then two years later, when he was 58, he got married again. He married Caroline. Just then, at about, just in about when he was 74, of course, like about 16 years later, Fillmore has died of a stroke at the age of 74, since he died in 1874 and was born in 1800. Well, yeah, that's easy to know how old were the people when they were born at the beginning of the century. And what and whatever year in the century did they died on? So we're gonna look up at his at the card. Millard Fillmore, thirteenth president, eighteen fifty to eighteen fifty three. Nickname was the accidental president. Vice president was none because he lost to be to to get second term. He had a party of the state. So his party was Whig, of course. Last person in the Whig. And state representative was New York. He was born seven days after the century began. Then he died. Died in day 67 of 1874 in Buffalo, New York. His occupations were a lawyer and teacher. His education was studied law in New York. Yeah, his spouse was Abigail Powers. Yeah, D stands for died. Yeah, Caroline Camerall was, was that Lady Fillmore remarried. Well, that's all I had to say about Mr. Fillmore. So I hope you enjoyed it. Even Yako, since he wanted Fillmore, and I hope you're happy, Yako. Well, that's all I had to say about Fillmore, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, bye.